Good morning, beautiful people from the internet. It is Connie over here. Today I'm outside, I'm standing up because I am very cold and I need to get my body moving, okay? Today is probably one of the coldest days here in Portugal and at least in my area we don't have such things as central heating and like I've heard in Norway and like Finland they have saunas inside of their houses and so I was like I would I would really love one of those right now but I just I just don't have it because usually the lowest temperature here in Portugal is around at least in my area okay like I live in the coastline so here it's like 10 degrees Celsius it's literally like a cold day which today it is a pretty cold day and it's like seven degrees Celsius so I was like what is the best way to warm myself up since I don't have any central heating and I have like a little heater that is probably the age of my grandma and so not to shed my grandma I mean she's pretty good for her age you know but so today I am going to be smoking a cigarette to warm my body from the inside out and I don't know man I think it's gonna be a good experience as I said I'm standing up and I'm outside because even my car is like freezing cold and usually one of my favorite uh, ways to just get myself warm is to leave my car in the sun for like a couple hours and then come back in, stay there with a little blanket. It's so warm, way warmer than the house. So I'm gonna light a cigarette and I'm gonna enjoy it. Let's go. Also, you're sitting on the trunk of my car. What do you think about that? I think you look pretty good there. I'm not gonna lie, like you're looking pretty great. And the best thing about it is that you can see the background. I mean, how cool is that? How cool is it to be able to see the background? I usually am always inside of my car, that's true. And that's for two reasons. First of all, I am shy and people are walking past me, you know, in my front, in my sides. But if I just focus on you guys, it's fine. And I don't feel shy or anything like that. And also because today it is very cold outside. And so I was tempted to just smoke inside my car because it is warmer, but I'm not going to do such a thing. I have grown up and I'm no longer afraid of recording outside. I mean, look at me. Are you looking? I hope so, because this is a big step in Connie's world. That's why when I see people that just are so good at recording videos outside, oh my God, I almost dropped my cigarette. That would have not been, that would have not been good. Um, I'm like, how do they do it? How is it so easy for them and so easy for some people and so hard for others? Do I just need to get over myself? Maybe. Because my fear of recording outside stems from a fear of judgment. And that stems from my ego. And so if I just drop my ego and I don't care about what people think, then it's completely fine for me to record outside. And that, is, that was my thought process 10 minutes ago when I was about to set up my camera in my car. And I was like, no, today is the day I start making some changes. And so I did. Oh my God, I just let all of that smoke escape. Well, let me tell you something. I would say that smoking a cigarette to warm the body is actually not that dumb of an idea all right listen to me because when i'm smoking a cigarette first of all i'm getting super buzzed this is like i haven't eaten breakfast yet so you know how it goes it's also i don't even know what time it is but it's pretty early and it's pretty nice i mean everyone is outside going for a walk today is a sunday okay let's appreciate my effort here i not only recorded outside but i recorded outside on a sunday it's the day where the most people go outside you know and i'm just I'm proud of myself. Also, there's a cat over there. It's a black cat, it's super cute. I'll show you at the end of the video if it still is there, if he or she is still there. That's a very funny thing about the English language is that you guys don't use he or she for animals. You use it until you, you grow like affection towards the animal, I think. At least when I was like in fifth grade and I was learning pronouns, I think those are pronouns and I learned that for animals, you are supposed to do to use it. And I was like, it, but my cat, her name is Joanna and she's a she because we don't, for example, we have the word cat, which is, it doesn't have a gender, but here in Portugal, we use gato for like male cat and gata for female cat. So we have always attributed gender to the way we call animals. So that was one thing that I was very confused when I started learning English in school. I was like, animals are it? What the hell? I don't know. 
I found it interesting though. I really hope you can hear me. I didn't really think too much about that. I mean, I have my microphone plugged on the camera. I just don't know if it's enough. I truly hope it is. I'm getting Omega Turbo buzzed and I'm also super chill and also very warm. So I'm gonna say this is working. Also, I forgot to say, also I have my ashtray. That's, what I'm, that's why I'm ashing over here. But I forgot to say what I'm smoking. Oh my god, I'm super buzzed, like, I feel like I need to sit down. I don't have any place to sit down, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. So, I'm smoking a John Player Special Fresh, which is the one that I reviewed on the last video. It is supposed to be a menthol cigarette. I mean, I heard it was supposed to have some sort of minty freshness in it. And honestly, as I said, I've been fooled once again. It's not menthol. It doesn't have a minty freshness. I mean, what was I, what was I expecting? You know, it's a cigarette and cigarettes here don't have all of those fun things, unfortunately. So I don't know, but I'm definitely enjoying my time. I also feel like I'm super high speed and like accelerated in my brain, although I'm feeling buzzed. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know how you guys deal with the cold in your countries. As I said, here it's not ever like really cold. In the north of Portugal, it gets cold, like it snows. But here it never snowed, ever, ever, ever. So I've never seen snow because I never went to the north of Portugal in the winter, only in the summer. And I've never went to a country where it snows. And so, yes, I'm 22 years of age and I've never seen snow in my life. It's totally fine though. I still have many years ahead, maybe. I don't know, the world could end tomorrow, as far as I know, but I am going to assume that I still have a bunch of years, which maybe I shouldn't. I've been thinking a lot about this, you know? I feel like a lot of times we assume that we have a lot of time to see and do all of the things that we want to do. But the truth is, anything could happen at any moment. And that is kind of scary because you never know when it's the last time you are going to do something. The first time that I ever thought about this was a couple of years ago when I read somewhere that it was like, there was a day that was the last day you went to the park and played in like the sliding thing or like, you know, you went to the park as a kid. And after that day, you never went again because it was time to maybe start doing other things and you didn't enjoy going to the park as much anymore. And I was like, wow, then I'm always thinking about when is the last time that I'm going to do this thing and this thing. And sometimes that gets me into a little spiral that I don't feel is that productive or healthy. I don't even know. I mean, this could be the last time I'm smoking a cigarette. I truly doubt that. I really do doubt that, but I guess you never know. And that is the point of all of this conversation. But yeah, I just finished my cigarette and I want to show you guys the surroundings because I mean, it's so beautiful. Look at it, look at it. Boom. This is a little forest where I always like to record my videos and it's so beautiful. I mean, come on now, look at me walking around, showing you guys things. Also, you were standing like right there in my car. I'm gonna show you the setup, all right? It looks pretty good. Do you see that? You were standing right here. And I think that's pretty awesome. I mean, I have my ashtray, I have my pack of cigarettes all set up. What else do you want from life? I mean, I don't know. Also, let me know if you guys would like me to make a video where I'm like walking around and smoking and like showing you around the area that I like to smoke at the most, because I feel like that could be interesting. So do let me know if you are, you know, interested, available, if you want to see that, I guess. And I don't know, man, it's been a great start of my day, great morning. I hope you have enjoyed this video, even just a little bit. I hope it brightened your day, even just a little bit, even just for 10 minutes. And I'll definitely be seeing you guys very soon. So yeah, bye.